In this episode, we're going to take a look at a viewer gift that I recently got in the mail, so stick around. and door cats and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room my name is rob and in this episode like i said we will be taking a look at a viewer gift this comes from gaz and if you were taking score at home yeah gaz is a very generous person he is always sending gifts over here and yeah i just i appreciate him i appreciate the effort he puts in and just Thank you, Gaz, so much. I mean, I feel speechless at the moment. Part of that could be because it's like 3.30 in the morning, but I think it's honestly because it's just, I, I am so appreciative, I'm so thankful to have people like you in my life just being so generous and just keeping me in mind. That's what makes me more happy than anything that someone out there is thinking of me and that's pretty cool so thank you guys and let's get to seeing what this is i got an email from them that said it was a gift for indy so i assume indiana jones which we just took a look at here at the channel so really curious to what that could be and yeah thanks again guys and I also want to say to everyone out there, thanks for always watching, always commenting, and always showing support. So thank you, everybody, and thank you, Gaz. And one more thing of note, yeah, my figure reviews and stuff get to be very long, as you can tell, because I'm talking a lot right now. So I think I have some ideas to shorten them up a little bit, so I might be testing that out with this. So I don't mean to shortchange you guys at all, but I just thought this was a good opportunity to test out a new method. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what it is. Okay, with his email, I just assumed this would be for Indiana Jones, so I kind of went ahead and set up a scene, and I'm really glad I did, because this is a perfect item for Indy. And if you saw my review of the figure, you saw that I had some trouble with it. So this will hopefully fix those issues. And what it, he sent was, and by the way, thanks again, Gaz, but what he sent was this Gridiron Studios Adventures Loadout Set. This has a lot of really neat things in it. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and crack this open and outfit Indy with it and take some pictures. And I will do some commentary over those pictures and tell you how awesome this is. Okay. What new additions that you can see in this photo are the awesome torch that he comes with. And I don't know how well you'll see it, but in the next photo, we will make sure to show it. He got a new belt with a gun holster, a new pistol, and the one thing that is worth the price of admission, a sturdy hook to hold his whip. And... He comes with a new posable wire whip. So right now I just have it coiled on his belt as he is now walking through the tomb and investigating things with his torch. So real quick, his old belt was pretty hard to you know slip down over his legs. The new belt went on perfectly and it has a little bit of slack in it. So... I don't know if there's some way to fix that or just be happy with it because no matter what, it's awesome. It's just a little loose, but so what? In the big scheme of things, it's awesome to have that hook 
a new holster, and a new pistol, other than that real flimsy one that the original Hasbro figure came with. So, let's pose them again, take a picture, and talk about it. It looks like Indy found the treasure that he was here to get. This magic gem of some ancient pharaoh. And you can see that pharaoh is not happy that Indy has taken his gemstone and he has awoken from his sarcophagus in the background. Now, as you can see here, the new belt with the new holster and the new whip. Like I said, this whip has a wire in it, which is perfect for posing. And the gun is better constructed than the original. Now, we will take a look at the holster a little bit closer and show Indy with the gun in hand. Now, Indy, still holding on to his prize, drops his torch and is reaching for his holster, which you can see that the new holster has a really nice little tab design to keep it closed. As the mummy gets closer, Indy pulls out his revolver and aims it at the shambling undead. First thing you can see about this pistol, like I said, it's more hardy. It's not as, like, rubbery and fragile as the original one and also his finger fits perfectly on the trigger so again awesome bonuses to just a simple revolver i mean that's something hasbro could have taken care of but yeah again thanks to gaz because now this is darn right perfect and just to test how perfect it is, let's get out the whip and let Indy finish the job on this mummy. Now Indy is whipping the mummy around the neck and getting ready to yank it off of its decrepit legs to hit the sand below. And yeah, the whip is really awesome. I am scared because we all know how thin wire can snap after some time. So I don't think I'm going to get too crazy with posing him with the whip, you know, on my shelf. But it is really awesome and just a really neat feature that, yeah, should have been included from the get-go. And... I mean, it's really nice. It has a leathery type appearance like a bullwhip should have and has really neat little details like a loop at the handle. And the handle is, you know, big enough for Indy to hold it. So really nice. So let's do one more pose and then finish this little uh, scene up and then we will get back to me. But first, one more scene. Okay, this is our last scene, and it is Indy swinging away with the gem. The mummy is vanquished, and he's off for another adventure at the end of the day. What I wanted to show with this is how great this whip is, because it is supporting his weight perfectly, and it still maintains posability. It's really it's a really awesome whip. I just, I love it. It's a great addition to the figure. The whole thing is a great addition. And this Gridiron Studios does really good work. I mean, I'd love to dive in and see what else they have on their website. So, yeah, if you're down for this or any other gear or props, check them out. So, we're going to end it there with Indy swinging off after a job well done, and we will head back to me to finish this up. Okay, back to me. That is such an awesome little pack of goodies made specifically for Indiana Jones. I mean, the packaging says it's for any toy of that scale, which it could be, but we all know who it was made for, and that's awesome. I would love to check out Gridiron Studio uh, their website and see what other awesome stuff they have so i'm really looking forward to that but let me take this time again to say thank you to gaz dude your generosity knows no bounds and 
you've made this old dork very happy because yeah the playtime that i just experienced with indiana jones and you know coming up with those poses which they might not look like a lot in the photos but i just had so much fun doing them and i took my time playing with it and like i said it might not come through in the photos but i had a blast and i just yeah thank you so much for the generosity the gift thinking about me and delivering to me so much fun with a toy um, of one of my favorite cinematic characters of all time so thank you so many times from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much so anyway like i've also stated it's pretty late in the night early morning so i need to get some shut eye so we're gonna leave it at that i hope you enjoyed this episode please give me a thumbs up if you got something to say please leave a comment i love reading them and i love getting back to everybody and if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes youtube is recommending down here please hit subscribe and if you hit that little bell icon you will be notified whenever there's a new episode so anyway until next time thank you guys thanks for watching Keep being rad and stay dorky.